When you're this close and you're up, you know, you're all zoomed in, you actually are moving pretty fast. Oh, we, we headed towards a quest. I wanted to go to the trading station. Hey guys, and welcome back to Terra Tech with me, Tenzin. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing pretty good. If you guys liked today's episode, please like and share as you see fit. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. So in the last episode, we talked about all the new blocks that they added to the game. Um, some of them were experimental and some were what looked like they were fully added into the game. So let's take a look at what we can build here. Unfortunately, uh, the fabricators aren't the easiest to see on this base, uh, but we will definitely take a look here. So we do have a GSO, a Hawkeye and a Venture. Um, GSO actually had a couple of interesting things. So I know right off the top of my head, they had a couple of new weapons and yes, we can build them. Um, the GSO shotgun, the shotguns I'm not that interested in today. We will look at them. Um, it's just that the shotguns are always, you know, with a close quarter vehicle. I want to look, take a look at the GSO missile batteries. So we're going to have to craft a couple of those. Um, Plumbia, eh? Didn't think we'd have a problem with that. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Always have some in reserve. <laughs> now, um, everything else should be... You know, we're going to take a look at everything possible. Uh, Venture here, obviously there's the uh, Venture Avalanche Launcher. The Contact uh, Shotgun, that one is a new one. Uh, what other blocks were there? I don't think there was too many blocks for Venture. Uh, okay, the Skirting Block. That's a long straight block. So the, the Skirting Block is one of the newer ones. Wheels, nope. No new wheels there. And, oh, and the rotating and fixed anchor. That's right. Uh, I think pretty much everybody got that. What is this? Okay, rubber tipped wing. Okay, that actually took a little while for that, uh, that weapon to be made here. But let's make another one. I want to have at least two or three of them, right? It's just, actually, let's like this. We'll just keep crafting them. It'd be nice to get it to a four. We're, we're going to use them on our big tech right here. We'll get rid of some of the cruise missiles. We might leave the cannons, but we'll get rid of the cruise missiles just because these are a little bit different than the other ones, right? Um, or they act different. These are, what were they? They were supposed to be the in-between, between, uh, what was it? They're larger than Venture. Uh, they have a longer range than Venture and they hit harder than Venture, but they shorter range than Hawkeye's cruise missiles. Uh, probably don't hit as hard as Hawkeye's cruise missiles, but there are four shots at once, right? Uh, come on. <laughs> uh, okay, now, oh, there we go. So difficult sometimes. Now we're going to have way too much. Why won't it scrap it? There we go. All right, um, I'm going to get a couple of these going just because it's going to take a little bit of time here. Uh, we'll get a couple of these going, and then we're gonna, we'll go head out and we'll start doing some uh, quests. Because I want to see if we can't get the new, what is it, Big Man Bombs. I want to see if we can't find a couple of those. No guarantee that they're even in the game yet. Like, our, they are in the experimental, but I mean, like, in the, the deliver crates. They might still just, you know, kind of sit and be sitting in uh, the R&D test chamber. But we're going to figure that out soon enough. So as soon as we get a couple of these going, I'll bring you guys back and we'll head out. All right, so hopefully we got everything set up. It's getting a little dark. It took me a while to get all, everything manufactured. Not 100% sure why. It was just we were having a little bit of problem with the component factories. Either way, it is what it is. Uh, but I got four of the, what is it, missile batteries made. And then I made two Hawkeye, what are these? Uh, yeah, small jet engines. So we'll see how those go. There's just two of them. Um, I don't know what's going on here. Hold on. Something was messing around with us there. All right, let's get, uh, I guess, underway here. We'll have to... Uh, oh, no, we already do have some quests. So let's go to Punks. And let's hit Shift and see. Uh, the burn time is definitely a lot longer than the thrusters. 60. Yeah, we're like we're moving pretty good here. You know, overall, just two of them bringing us up, you know, even the four kilo or four miles an hour more uh, is a big thing. Overall, long travels or long uh, long distances, that uh, shortens the travel distance quite a bit. But either way, I still like it. Uh, 
Well, see, so we might have to remove the Hawkeye uh, cannons just so that we can see. Oops. <laughs> just so that we can see what the missile batteries are going to do for us. But we'll uh, see that in a minute. Uh, I hate going around the or going over top of these mountains, so we're just going to go around if we can. Uh, and back it up. Forward. There we go. Use those thrusters to get us going right away. I guess if we had like 10 of them, we could really, you know, <laughs> get a real good push going. But all right, uh, I guess I'll get us to around these mountains and to this uh, to the punks, and then uh, I'll bring you guys back. All right, I almost ran right into them. I wasn't even paying attention. I was just trying to get up over the mountains here. So let's see what happens. Uh... Okay, so that they're supposed to have a lock on. They're like just like avalanche launchers and cruise missiles. So we'll see what happens here. Hopefully we can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this guy. Obviously overall, um, all of them we definitely couldn't, but uh, we don't have really have that much running room. So retreat really isn't that much of an option, unfortunately. There we go. So, not too bad. Um, obviously we do have, we, no, I don't think the railguns were locking on at all. Okay. Not quite. Not quite again. Let's see if we can't get a couple of salvos up over the top there. There we go. <laughs> these things are actually the GSO. I, I, I bet these things are going to be deadly. Now, another reason why I was looking at uh, the GSO quest right off the bat, too, is because we do have GSO maxed. So, the. And the big. Uh, what is it? The big man bomb actually comes in the GSO, or is part of GSO's faction, so, or is supposed to be, sorry. Um, so we definitely want, that's why, more than likely the quests might give us those, but it, it's just a, uh, you know, I'm crossing my fingers kind of thing here, so. <laughs> Come on. Let's destroy these guys. Where's our railguns? The railguns aren't even firing. If they are, they're not aiming. And if they are aiming, they're not aiming very well. <laughs> Come on. The Hawkeye cannons keep pushing us back. <laughs> Ooh. See, now, now that we have that gauge, the battery gauge, now we can actually gauge or see when we're about to lose all our batteries, right? Instead of trying to look over here on the tech and be like, uh-oh. Here we know that we're getting close. We're going to have to watch it. Uh, perfect. Okay, so, let's take a look. Yeah, we got one. Boom, right there, you guys. Right off the bat. <laughs> That's awesome. So, uh, so uh, I guess we might as well head to the deliver crate next, too. It'd be nice to get a couple of these, but I'm going to, you know, gather up all these parts here because I'm, uh... We're going to start making a scrapper base, I think. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. It's going to be a mobile base of some sort, but it, it, it should be probably Scrapper anyways. <laughs> and because I'm a hoarder, I don't know. All right, here we go for the... What is this? Deliver crate, yeah. <laughs> thought I was going to say like Dead Man's crate or something. Uh, can we roll over it? No. Did it just open? Yeah, it just opened. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like we might have gotten a shotgun. Uh, let's see. No, nothing there. Okay, so we weren't so lucky this time with this this crate. Nothing too special. Also, as you guys can see, uh, we don't have our trailer on us anymore. And that is because uh, we, I was collecting all the parts from all those guys that we destroyed. And they just kept hitting and hitting and hitting, like all the parts uh, hitting the trailer. And eventually the trailer just knocked itself loose. Um, it was laying on the ground. So I was like, yeah, I don't really feel like reattaching it. So <laughs> therefore, I just... You know, put it away. Uh, I guess I should have probably taken a picture of it first so that I could recall it. But either way, uh, that did happen. Uh, I, I want to go to a trading station, but I know where this trading station is. It's going to take us... Oh, no, there's another one. Sorry, I thought this was going to be the one that took us right into the mountains again. I was like, ah. Uh. <laughs> I should actually move away from the mountains and then uh, go to a trading station. Because the trading stations are always going to put the quest somewhere close to you, right? Mm -hmm. 
Let's go. There we go. So loud, eh? All those all those engines gone. See? When you're this close and you're up, you know, you're all zoomed in, you actually are moving pretty fast. Oh, we we headed towards a quest. I wanted to go to the trading station. Ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> anything good there? It won't be anything new, I don't think. For Venture, there wasn't really anything new anyways. It was just the rotating anchor and the fixed anchor and that one block too. Uh, Hawkeye also got the rotating, got a rotating anchor and a fixed anchor. Um, and I think that's pretty much it for Hawkeye. Hawkeye didn't get too many upgrades. Yeah, I, I don't think, you know, Hawkeye needs any, any more weapons at the moment. At the moment, I'm going to say, because in the future, we can definitely have some more Hawkeye weapons. It's at the moment that the Hawkeye weapons are pretty much the strongest in the game. Or they were. We'll find out soon enough. I'm really liking these GSO missile banks. Uh, the range that you have on them, the punch that they do give is fairly strong. And I didn't realize that it, or I should have realized it, they do rotate, right? Uh, but they aim downwards. There we go. <laughs> Are you gonna shoot or there we go? Took a while. Ah, oh, come on. But yeah, they uh, the range is definitely outside of aggro range. So you know, before the music starts to play, you can shoot or engage uh, targets with the missile banks before they actually start to move towards you to get into a battle with you. This guy has way too many, way too many batteries on him. Oh, and then I, of course, I did something else too. Is that our charging, uh, charge block, or whatever you want to call it, what we've been using to charge our vehicle? Uh, I had it at the base. I had it spawned in at the base, and I forgot to despawn it or put it away, pack it up. And so <laughs> now I don't have it. Uh, we do have a lot of, like, I can still charge with a bunch of solar panels and stuff like that, but uh, it just takes a little bit longer because the charging station actually has a lot more stuff on it. Uh, either way. Just something to look forward to. Really? Cannon squid? Yeah, you are done. What? Just because he blew up inside my shields? <laughs> Alright, uh, I will head over to this training station, I think, and get us some quests, maybe. We'll see. Alright, here we go. We have a couple of things. Jettison cargo, abandoned tool crate, unboxing, and the time trial. We will accept it, but we're not going to do it, right? Not at the moment. Uh, let's go like this. Let's go to the unboxing. Let's go up against some Hawkeye. <sighs> Alright, we're just going to go to the left here because I, this unboxing is in the mountains, so I don't want to go there. <laughs> oh, come on. That shouldn't have done any damage. Uh, this is probably like one of those ones where it's like, locate the, yeah. The tool crate is somewhere in this area. Blah, blah, blah. Locate it. I think we have like a minute to find it. So, and there we go. <laughs> Pretty close to center. It's not like the circle is really that wide. Um, but it doesn't make it impossible to find. Wow, that's a lot of experimental stuff, hey? And it came up in a GSO block, or a case, uh, sorry, delivery crate. And these are all the new wedges and platform, I think it's called. What is that one called? Uh, yeah, the platform. And then the skirting. All right, so there we go. Uh, deliver crate, yada, yada, yada. Jettison cargo. Let's go take a look. All right, do you think it's gonna be an ambush? I don't think so. Ooh, it is, perfect. Perfect. I'm liking this. Lots of targets. <laughs> Okay, down, and all lost, there we go, now he's down. And we're at half, we only have, you know, we're about half battery life here. Look at this guy. Wow, he's pretty big. Uh, 
Uh, well, very well uh, armored. Oh, by the way, uh, just so you guys know, they did increase, uh, what was it, the melee damage uh, for vehicles, or for parts, just so you guys know. In the new patch, that is. Got to back up, because I don't want to get too close with him with the plasma cutters there. But I do want to use the rail guns to cut through them. That's a base. That's a... Somebody built a full-size base there. <laughs> See the scrappers, the fabricators on the side? Ah, he's stuck. The best way. The best tech is a stuck tech. <laughs> Come on. It's hard to believe with this amount of firepower that we do have on here that we are actually not, like, just, you know, obliterating this guy. Uh, but, we, you know, we can't see how many batteries he has on either. Uh, there's quite a few explosions there. Those were all the missile... What are these called? The missile batteries. There we go. I was gonna call them missile blocks for some reason. Might as well, they're square, right? Eh, okay, his batteries are about, or his, or his shields are about to go down. If you had enough of these, the missile batteries, you could... I want to say that you'd be more deadly, you'd be deadlier than driving around with cruise missiles on you. Cruise missiles would give you the range. Um... And overall, somebody, you know, I, I know the argument is to made, be made that cruise missiles hit harder, but they only hit one at a time. Um, and it takes a long time. And yeah, You know, I'm going to save 10 to 15 seconds for them to recharge. I can't remember the exact amount of time that it takes. But these shoot four in a row. So <laughs> it's like, hmm, what do you do, right? All right, let's go over here. Looks like we've destroyed all our enemy ambushers. And what did we get? More experimental parts. I'm down with the experimental parts. I'm not sure, like I said in the last episode, what we're gonna do with them, but we'll figure it out. Uh, but yeah, so we did get, we did get one of the uh, new GSO uh, weapons or the big boy uh, bomb, or what is it, big man bomb, there we go. <laughs> so we're gonna have to make a flyer just for that purpose, just to use, if we can get a, find another one, that'd be awesome. If we can't, you know, it's not the end of the world, they will come eventually. Uh, I do like the GSO uh, missile batteries here. These things are pretty sweet. Um, I think it's something that GSO has been lacking for quite some time is the firepower. Yes, megaton cannons are strong, but overall, they it's only one weapon out of their whole arsenal that's really that strong, right? So I'm kind of glad that they did add it. Uh, you know, they've added a couple weapons to GSO. Or, yeah, to GSO, sorry. <laughs> but that's going to do it for today's episode, you guys. So if you guys liked the episode, please leave a like, leave a comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.